Hi there, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And now for today's video. So uh, we recently had some birthdays at our house and we ended up with actually a very nice stack of cards. And these birthday cards always come with birthday envelopes. And so I wanted to show you what I do with my envelopes. And so I know that there's lots of great tutorials on birthday cards or yeah, what to do with birthday cards and also what to do with like bill envelopes and stuff like that. So there's a lot of different ways that you can utilize these. I just think it's great because you have a built-in pocket. You can put things in there and uh, utilize it. And so nothing goes to waste. And then a lot of times you get these two tone colors. So you can even cut that open, make that into a page which I think is quite nice as well. But I just like the idea of using something that might go into the trash and make it something beautiful. So I thought I would just show you kind of my process a little bit and work through it together. So one of the first things I did was I figured out what sizes were kind of similar. And let me show you. There's several other cards that just were too small, too big and uh, just maybe not the right size. So I just kind of took those out and tried to keep them as um, kind of standardized as I possibly could. Now one's sticking out, but I don't really care. And then these two were definitely a lot bigger and there were only two of them. So that really worked. So putting envelopes together is really easy. You just kind of decide what you want to do and um, there's lots of different videos on how to do it. I do it the easiest way because, again, I kind of take the lazy way out. So you want to find two envelopes or, that are similar in size. And even if they're not, uh, that's just okay. It's not an issue to do that. I'm not utilizing these because this one just has a big, huge gash. Actually, I could. I could just kind of cut around it. Never mind. I might just use it that way. You just kind of figure out which one goes inside and which one goes outside. This one has a sticker on it, so I'm going to keep it on the outside. And then I'm tucking this one inside. And that, to me, that's just about it. You can glue it. You can glue this one and put it in here. If it doesn't fit, you just kind of give it a little trim on the um, inside and then just kind of put them, work them together. And they actually go in pretty nicely together, especially when they're the same size. That one says sweet Mona. How sweet. Okay, so you can either keep this part here like that. Um, and then, you know, you've got your, your signature or not signature, but an insert here. And I may seriously just cut th these pieces out because both of these are ripped. And then I'll have two pages and that works really well. Okay, so that's just the process of putting these in. I haven't even glued these yet. Actually, that's not true. This part is glued. So on this one, I didn't want this coming all the way down this way, so I just kind of cut it across and glued it. So you don't have to have the V in there, and I'll show you. So these two are um, more square, and I just left this flap open and glued it right here because I wanted this to be a flap for us for the junk journal so this part went in that this is a part of this envelope as you can tell and this one just got wrapped around i glued it back there and then that way you can use it so this is kind of the first insert here oh, this card is so beautiful it's actually from my mom and it has really nice kind of graphics on the um Outside it says happy birthday to you and then very pretty paper on the inside. So I just kind of matched it up with this. I want this flap to be out. And so this one, this was all torn. You can just tell somebody just kind of ripped into it. And then, yeah, you're going to be just a lot more careful next year. I'm just going to tell you. Um, so you can just kind of put it in this way so that this flap um, stays out. And really that's kind of what I'm going to do. So, or you can do this also. Actually, maybe I'll just do that. I didn't want to cover these stamps up. That was my problem. So you're going to have to like figure out, because this is going to come, you know, like in a V. So I didn't want to cover this up. Didn't want to cover the stamps up. 
So I think I am gonna just open this up. I'm gonna show you. Let me just do it here. Quick dry glue. So I'm just gonna put some here and then the back. I'm gonna tuck this in right here. There we go, right on that seam. And that's uh, what I did with the two white ones. And then you've got this lovely flap that kind of has, you know, some co cohesiveness to this. And then you have this one on the inside, which gives you very, very nice pockets. I don't know what's going on with there. I'll have to clean that up. Okay, so now to the third one. So it's two pinks together. In fact, they're like almost identical. And in this one, I just went ahead and kept this part. You can even not glue this to make it into a pocket and tuck something in there. That would be very cute. But I just kind of wrapped it around and called it good. And then this one had a pink inside, so I tucked it in so it gives the whole thing a nice pink inside. And then here I just took a list and just added that so I didn't forget. Okay, and then another one that's mown on it there. And these two are yellows, so I just tucked one inside the other. No big thing. And then, then I ended up not having some matching ones. And this is actually smaller, like the white one is smaller than the green one. I don't, I, to me, it looks great. So I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm going to just decoupage this. And so there's that one. Next one, same kind of a deal. Um, I had a contrast inside, so I chose that one to go in, cut a part of that V that would come down here, and then that, you know, that way, again, you can display the stamps and things like that. And then on to the final one, which is my favorite, and that, again, is for my mom. And uh, this is one that's lavender-ish, and then when you open it, it's got like this little girl who is riding a bicycle and a little bit of shine to it um but this purple one has a contrast inside too so that really turns out great to have kind of in the center so the two larger cards i'm using as the outside of this this uh, signature and then all the other ones are going to be inside and what i'm going to do is i'm going to end up binding all this together just kind of sewn you know sewn together so nothing fancy really um, just putting something together and my daughter recommended um, she just said how cute would this be as something to hold all your birthday notes and maybe you know pictures from a party and so it'll just be like a birthday um, junk journal just having parts of your cards and you know sometimes we don't want to throw away cards because they're just so beautiful and you know put that all together so up here there is a name that was kind of written off center it's kind of making me crazy so i just took a book page and then a little bit of a list pad and put that together but i also grabbed some of my my napkins and tissue that i decoupage with and just kind of picked um, brighter colors because it's a birthday it's just happy and then i had like strips of yellow here and that I can put onto um, the yellows and the oranges. And then I have these bird houses. This one's kind of dull, so I'm gonna put that one back. But then I have this great tissue that I got in a gift. And so here's some more oranges. And I think I'm gonna put this here just to show you real quick. And I'm not gonna like spend the rest of the video decorating this because I just kind of wanted to go along and kind of like a craft along just to show you, whoa what i'm doing tonight and just kind of you know working on some of this stuff and it's just fun you just kind of stop and you go oh i should do a video on this and so you just that's really the the whole point point. and like i said there's some wonderful videos um i know um treasure books has several on how to use and utilize your napkins and um tissues and how to use like use your envelopes for books and um, she does a great job using like um, your envelope the ones that have the glassine windows 
and making something really beautiful out of those. She makes pockets and ephemera and stuff like that. So there's lots of other places. I know um, I also watch Pam at the Paper Outpost. I love her and she does some really pretty things too. And um, anyway, so just, again, you can use ideas from all different people, kind of combine them, make them your own. And so here's just a really quick uh, decoration on this. And I'm gonna go through just add in the places that are kind of ripped and I just cur curve that book page around and um, just start decorating and doing something. I do wish on these though that I would have just glued that bottom part and made this part kind of a pocket but it's too late but maybe I'll add a different pocket there. So hope you enjoyed this video and until next time bye.